thanks for your kind uh, introduction, uh, Ron, and uh, thanks to the invitation at this, uh, I would say that the business leader for the region that is quite exciting for me. Uh, I'm looking uh, to answer a part of the question that is regarding how can we help the Durham region to be able to be more economic or develop economically further. And uh, from my perspective, as you mentioned, I don't need to look forward I, uh, much further. I just look down the road a kilometer from here and I see what we call the most, uh, the biggest freshwater pond that you can have in the world. Uh, that is the uh, water, uh, water motorway we have. So let's look at some, some uh, detail first regarding it. Uh, 3,700 kilometers of motor highway. Uh, that moves 165 million tons of goods every year from to 59 countries in the world. And key market that, that I serve and deserve for the, for the area here. Obviously, I'm talking about the Great Lakes St. Lawrence Seaway System that is the uh, deep draft navigation system that is supporting the world support from and to Canada. Uh, today, uh, we're able to look at different, and I will bring to you different figure that shows basically how can uh, we participate and we can contribute to the development of Durham region econ economically in transport. When we look at what, we, what moves to through the, the water that brings the table. So if we look at uh, sugar, we look at uh, foods that on, on your table, we look at gas that goes to our vehicle, we look at steel uh, building uh, in our buildings, in our, in, our, uh, in our region that we have here, they all come through the water uh, motorway that, we, uh, that we're talking about right now. Uh, a great uh, a, a ship that goes on the Great Lake, all been part of your life somehow to bring these goods to your, your table or to your environment. That, uh, that system basically touched 120 million people. Uh, it covers the two provinces, Quebec and Ontario, and also eight states, the United States, that serve as the waterway, the highway H2O as we branded, and uh, basically that touched the heartland of all the industrial world, but also, uh, sorry, North America, but also the, the region itself. So when we look at that uh, system, this is a binational system that serves as lynchment of the, uh, of the movement of the, uh, of the ships on the, on the system between the St. Lawrence River and the Great Lakes. Uh, beginning in Montreal, the, the, uh, the seaway, basically raised ships, 178 meters, the size of the, uh, basically, the uh, CN Tower to the Lake Erie level to assure the movement of these goods throughout the North American continent. I work for the uh, St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation that is a non-for-profit organization that is uh, contracted by the federal government to manage the asset of the government. 13 locks of the 15 locks of the systems are managed by Canadian Management Corporation. The two other locks are managed by a uh, development corporation, the St. Lawrence Seaway Development Corporation, that is inside the DOT, the transport, uh, the, the Department of Transport of the United States. When we look at the impact of what goes on on the waterway, you can imagine that we're talking about $35 billion of impact activity annually. 227,000 jobs of that is quite important for Ontario because 64,000 of jobs are in Ontario and 9.6 billion of impact is relating to the activity of Ontario of which some of that is in your region. When we look at the vessel that passed on the system and I take one of these vessels bringing uh, the carry grains to be able to uh, we, it's the equivalent, basically, of having in one vessel what grain that is needed to make for the bread of all Ontario population for one month. So when you look at the economy of scale and the, uh, the cost effectiveness of mov moving goods, bulk goods, uh, on, on water, you can see why that economic impact is so important. And to the point that you were making on, to the, that we're not using right now that to the, to the best advantage. Hence, 
my reason here today to try to convince every one of, them, of us to be able to think about water when we go forward. The large, cap the large capacity of these vessel carrying and the energy efficiency makes that advantage. It's a smart environmental way and it's an efficient way to be able to move these goods rapidly from and to wherever the market are. That advantage support Canadian development and the economic side of pushing further abroad and continentally also the goods that we have that would be congesting our road or would be, um, would be a burden for the railway. So the waterway is more as a partner for the rail and the, and the land transportation mode to be able to uh, move these goods and enhance the uh, movement, the transportation movement of goods North, in North America. From a domestic perspective, uh, we have to imagine that in the past three years and in the, fo in the, in the following five years, the uh, carriers, the ship owners, have invested, they are investing $1 billion in new ships that are environmentally uh, more performant than the one you saw for some decades into the, in the system. And basically, that shows in both the confidence to which the uh, marine industry have into the motor, the, 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 the IOH2O, the motor uh, waterway, and to the benefit of the development of the economic region, the Durham region itself also. From our perspective, the minister was talking about investment uh, and ability to be able to look at the free trade and leverage these benefits. Both Seaway, Canadian and US Seaway, are investing close to a billion dollars from uh, 2010 to 2018 in basically uh, making sure that we improve our productivity and our um, also the uh, capacity and reliability of the system to assure that we can continue to offer the type of performance that uh, your requirement of trans transportation have uh, experienced for close to 56 years now. Uh, part of that investment basically is also for us into putting technology into the way we do business. Uh, we're investing in, in the coming two years right now close to 100 million in putting high technology into our locks to remove the, uh, the burden of uh, deploying cable when we pass ship through a lock. Uh, the technology is, uh, that is used is called ANS3 Marine and is basically a vacuum pad that is deployed to the side of a ship to assure that the, the cable are not deployed and increase the speed to which these, sh these ships are passing by in the lock, improving the productivity, improving safety for the workers that are on the ground or on the ships, and also making sure that more ships that are not equipped with what we would call traditional gear marine would have access to the system, hence increasing the accessibility of the Durham region to the port of Oshawa, to the, uh, to the world, basically. Other, other type of investment in technology that, w that the CWE also d uh, done through uh, uh, technology that comes from the region in part also is the use of what we call a, d a draft management system, draft information system. That is technically given the, the, the master, the bridge of the ship, the ability to see the water way in front of, in front of the ship uh, in uh, 3D in all time that permits the ship to adjust speeds and also loading capacity. So it's an increase in average of about 400 ton per every transit that exists on the system to be able to optimize the productivity and increase safety on navigation. Uh, so very often we hear people being nervous about the safety of different transit of goods. Uh, the waterway uh, basically offers probably the most, not probably, offers the most safe and environmental uh, smart way to be able to move goods around the, around the country. The sa in the same manner as that the seaway and the carriers have invested, we also see the port and terminal uh, playing a key role inside the, uh, the future of the system. Uh, you can see here, uh, as at a glance, basically the different point of entry and, and exit of that motorway, 
that are intermodal in nature, that are have invest and are investing into the ability to be able to better service the requirement that you as bus business leader may have. Amongst, amongst them, basically also, I was talking a minute ago about the Port of Oshawa. That is basically at this point, knowing probably the most uh, exciting transformation of, uh, of, his, uh, of his life, basically. Uh, where the port is basically uh, deploying a lot of his, uh, what I call, heavy capacity with a rail spur to be able to connect to the inland portion of the uh, CN line to Montreal in a manner that its intermodal capacity will be enhanced and permit the ability to be able to interface with the rest of the world in a more effective manner. Uh, I can give you a typical example uh, when we talked about uh, asphalt coming to, uh, to be able to replenish the road. If we're talking about salt, we had a quite a, a challenging winter and basically when we talk about salt coming to the region, it comes through water. Uh, we were talking about con construction, investment, rebar, steel, manufacturing, or steel, raw material, basically coming to the region, coming to water. All that, uh, and the fertilizer for the agriculture industry that we were talking about before, all that come to the Port of Oshawa. And like that was not sufficient, right now we know, and it's been announced, I believe, yesterday, that the Port of Oshawa was making further investment and basically to be able to increase their capability and their capacity in, uh, sorry about that, in, uh, in the region of, of being a, the best or intermodal uh, facility in the region. Being part of a wider system, basically, we talked about the highway tool, but being part of the, uh, of the natural system, uh, in North America feeding through uh, the St. Lawrence River, Basically, the Port of Oshawa counts also on our ability through the, the Chamber of Commerce, can, the Chamber of Marine Commerce, and the IOH Tool Program, for which the annual conference is next uh, the f uh, November 19 and 20 coming in the region here in Toronto, uh, and you are all invited to participate. Um, uh, can count on our support and make sure that we are. Uh, helping the Port of Oshawa to be able to realize its ability to service the world and service the region in a manner that is more productive for you. The, the future of the Canadian economy, basically, uh, we had the minister talking about the activity that the federal government is posing to free trade, or sorry, trades agreement to a different part. We have right now, uh, Prime Minister Harper that is also initiating the Pacific Rim uh, activity further as we were speaking this week. Uh, this region can play a key role and the door that the uh, system offered to the port and also the waterway is one thing to be able to consider in any development activity that can help the region to be able to further its, its economic development. Uh, we will continue to serve the, uh, the region as we, uh, as the region is one key important partner for us. And uh, in that matter, uh, we are pleased to be able to answer any question you have uh, to us uh, in the panel period that is coming to us. And I would like to praise the activity of the region and the one of the Port of Oshawa for the development in the, that past period and for the future coming. Thank you for your time. <laughs>